checking our weather. We could have used some cool lemonade earlier today, <laughs> and now it's uh, just watching those storms. Huh? That's right. Definitely hot this afternoon, all ahead of a cold front that's now bringing those storms a little bit closer to our area. We actually have a severe thunderstorm watching effect for portions of our hill country, including San Saba, Mason, and Limpasas counties. Viper radar shows quiet conditions in the Austin area. That green you see showing up right there, that's just a little radar clutter. The bigger storms out to our west. There's Lampasas, San Saba, Mason counties all under that severe thunderstorm watch until 2 a.m. Uh, tomorrow morning. And if we zoom out just a little bit, you can see just how large of a line of storms this is, all developing right along a cold front out to our west. Now, this front really stalled up this afternoon, and expected it to move faster east, but it has really taken its time. So it has allowed strong thunderstorms to develop near the Abilene area, near the San Angelo area, and west of Dallas. Some of these storms have even had one inch hail reported with them. So we're going to be watching them as they move very slowly east overnight tonight, moving into our western hill country counties around midnight and into the Austin area uh, late through the overnight hours into early on your Monday morning. So let's go hour by hour through our forecast. When can we can expect them? That front making its way into the western hill country counties uh, within the next hour to, or two hours, and then that wet weather moving in behind it through early tomorrow morning as that front moves into the Austin area around 5 a.m. Some of these storms could continue to be on the strong side. Hail, high winds being the primary threats. Though as we go further through the overnight hours, that chance for severe weather is going to weaken into early tomorrow morning. By 7 a.m., that front's going to be all the way to our east. Just some cloud cover left around in the metro area. And by noon, the cloud cover already moving out. So that front's going to move through fairly quickly by tomorrow morning. And by the afternoon, temperatures are going to stay in the 80s with that northerly flow behind the front. It's also going to bring in a little bit drier air. So through the day tomorrow, we also have the potential for some dangerous fire weather conditions. We've talked about fire weather all weekend long, and now we have a red flag warning that goes into effect at 2 a.m. here in the Austin area all the way until 8 p.m. tomorrow evening. So fires that start could be very hard to control through the afternoon tomorrow. Now this dry, cooler air that rolls in on Monday is going to be really nice on your Tuesday. Starting out the day a little bit cooler down into the 50s. By the afternoon, we will stay in the 80s on your Tuesday with a little bit more sunshine. Current temperatures right now still on the muggy side with the low 80s in places like Llano and Mason, upper 70s as you head towards Burnett and Lakeway and along our eastern counties. Here in town, 79 degrees with overcast skies, 78 out of the airport. Dew point still in the upper 60s. You can tell it's a lot of moisture in the air. Our winds are still out of the south and south southeast, anywhere between 5 15 miles an hour. They'll stay that way overnight until that front moves in, turning them around to the north and keeping them right between 10 and 15 early in the day tomorrow. Now, as this system rolls out, we have a high ridge of high pressure developing in the upper levels of the atmosphere for the middle of the week. That means our dry conditions will continue. We'll also see temperatures topping out only in the 80s. And late in the week, our next trough of low pressure pushes in. That gives us a small change chance for rain Thursday into Friday with our next Pacific front. So tonight, here's what you can expect. Temperatures in the low 60s as that front rolls through, bringing with it the chance for a few scattered thunderstorms. Some could be on that strong side. You'll definitely want to stay tuned to us overnight tonight. Temperatures tomorrow afternoon, uh, 86 degrees, and we're going to see uh, the very nice conditions. I'll pull up your seven day for you real quick here. We're looking at temperatures in the 50s overnight Tuesday into Wednesday. Afternoon highs will top out in the 80s with that next chance chance for rain both Thursday night into Friday morning. We'll be right back after the break.